Documentation, paradox, unreliable narrators, often unrealistic and downright impossible plots, games, parody, paranoia, dark humor, and authorial self-reference. Postmodern authors tend to reject outright meanings in their novels, stories, and poems, and instead highlight and celebrate the possibility of multiple meanings or a complete lack of meaning within a single literary work. Postmodern literature also often rejects the boundaries between high and low forms of art and literature, as well as the distinctions between different genres and forms of writing and storytelling. Here are some examples of stylistic techniques that are often used in postmodern literature. Pastiche, the taking of various ideas from previous writings and literary styles and pasting them together to make new styles. Intertextuality, the acknowledgement of previous literary works within another literary work. Metafiction, the act of writing about writing or making readers aware of the fictional nature of the very fiction they're reading. Temporal distortion, the use of non-linear timelines and narrative techniques in a story. Minimalism, the use of characters and events which are decidedly common and non-exceptional characters. Maximalism, disorganized, lengthy, highly detailed writing. Magic realism, the introduction of impossible or unrealistic events into a narrative that is otherwise realistic. Faction, the mixing of actual historical events with fictional events without clearly defining what is factual and what is fictional. Reader involvement, often through direct address to the reader and the open acknowledgement of the fictional nature of the events being described. Many critics and scholars find it best to define postmodern literature against the popular literary style that came before it, modernism. In many ways, postmodern literary styles and ideas serve to dispute, reverse, mock, and reject the principles of modernist literature. For example, instead of following the standard modernist literary quest for meaning in a chaotic world, Postmodern literature tends to eschew, often playfully, the very possibility of meaning. The postmodern novel, story, or poem is often presented as a parody of the modernist literary quest for meaning. Thomas Pynchon's postmodern novel, The Crying of Lot 49, is a perfect example of this. In this novel, the protagonist's quest for knowledge and understanding results ultimately in confusion and the lack of any sort of clear understanding of the events that transpired. Postmodern literature serves as a reaction to the supposed stylistic and ideological limitations of modernist literature and the radical changes the world underwent after the end of World War II. While modernist literary writers often depicted the world as fragmented, troubled, and on the edge of disaster, which is best displayed in the stories and novels of such modernist authors as Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Gertrude Stein, Albert Camus, Virginia Woolf, and Thomas Mann, postmodern authors tend to depict the world as having already undergone countless disasters and being beyond redemption or understanding. For many postmodern writers, the various disasters that occurred in the last half of the 20th century left a number of writers with a profound sense of paranoia. They also gave them an awareness of the possibility of utter disaster and apocalypse on the horizon. The notion of locating precise meanings and reasons behind any event became seen as impossible. Postmodern literary writers have also been greatly influenced by various movements and ideas taken from postmodern philosophy. Postmodern philosophy tends to conceptualize the world as being impossible to strictly define or understand.